Hello, Big Daddy Biggs here, productreviewdude.com. This is uh, Through the Bible in a Year with Big Daddy Biggs, and today is January the 9th. Uh, the scriptures for today from the Tree of Life version of the Bible is Genesis chapters 33 through 36. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Jacob meets Esau. Then Jacob glanced up and saw, behold, there was Esau coming and 400 men with him. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two female servants. He put the female servants and their children first, then Leah and her children behind, him, behind them, then Rachel and Joseph behind them. But he himself passed on ahead of them and bowed to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. But Esau ran to meet him, hugged him, fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. His eyes glanced up, and he saw the women and the children and said, Who are these with you? The children whom God has graciously given your servant, he said. <clears throat> then the female servants approached they and their children and bowed down. Leah also approached along with her children, and they bowed down. And finally, Joseph and Rachel approached and bowed down. What do you mean by this whole caravan that I've met? So he said, to find favor in your eyes, my Lord. But Esau said, I have plenty. O oh, my brother, do keep all that belongs to you. Yet Jacob said, No, please, if I have found favor in your eyes, then you will take my offering from my hand. For this is the reason I've seen your face. It is like seeing the face of God, and you've accepted me. Please take my blessing that was brought to you because God has given, God has been gracious to me, and because I have everything. So he kept urging him until he accepted. Then he said, Let's journey and be on our way, and I'll go ahead of you. He continued, My Lord knows that the children are tender and that the flocks and the cattle are in my care are nursing. So if they were pushed hard just one day, all the flocks would die. Please let my Lord pass on ahead of your servant, and I'll move, further, move on further gradually at a pace suited to the livestock <clears throat> that are before me and at a pace suited to the children until I come to my Lord in Seir. Then Esau said, Please let me leave with you some of the people who are with me. But he said, What's this? Let me find favor in my Lord's eyes. So on that day Esau returned on his way to Seir. But Jacob journeyed to Sukkot and built a house for himself and for his livestock and made booths. That is the reason that place is called Sukkot. So Jacob arrived in Shalom to the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Padan Aram and camped right in front of the city. He purchased the portion of the field there where he had pitched his tent from the sons of Hamor, Shechem's father, for one hundred pieces of money. There he set up an altar, and he called it El as Israel's God. Chapter 34 Dinah defiled by Shechem. Now Dinah, Leah's daughter, whom she bore for Jacob, went out to look at the daughters of the land. When Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, the prince of the land, saw her, he took her and lay with her and raped her. But his soul clung to Dinah, Jacob's daughter, and he loved the young woman and spoke reassuringly to the young woman. So Shechem said to his father Hamor, saying, Get me this girl for a wife. Now Jacob had heard that he had defiled his daughter Dinah while his sons were with his livestock in the field. So Jacob kept quiet until they came in. Meanwhile, Shechem's father, Hamor, went out to Jacob in order to speak with him. Jacob's sons had already come in from the field when they heard, and the men were deeply grieved and furious because he had committed a vile deed 
in Israel by laying with Jacob's daughter, which, brought, which ought never be to be done. But Hamor spoke with them, saying, My son Shechem, he's very attracted to your daughter. Please give her to him for a wife. Intermarry with us. You can give your daughters to us, and you can take our daughter, daughters for yourselves. You can live with us, and the land will be open to you. Live in it, move out, move about freely in it, and settle down in it. Shechem also said to her father and to her brothers, Would that I find favor in your eyes. Whatever you say to me, I'll give. Set the dowry and the presents as high as you like, and I'll give whatever you say to me. But give me the young woman as a wife. But Jacob's daughters answered Shechem and his father Hamor deceitfully as they spoke because he had defiled their sister Dinah. They said to him, We can't do this thing. Give our sister to a man who is uncircumcised, for this is a disgrace to us. Only by this will we consent to you, if you will become like us by circumcising every male. Then we'll give you our daughters and take your daughters for ourselves and live with you and become one people. But if you don't listen to us and be circumcised, we will take our daughter and leave. Now their words seemed good to Hamor as well as Hamor's son Shechem. So the young man did not hesitate to do it since he delighted in Jacob's daughter. Now he was honored above everyone else in his father's house. So Hamor and his son Shechem came into the gate of their city and spoke to the men of their city, saying, These men are enjoying a peaceful relationship with us, and they are living in the land and moving about freely in it. As for the land, look, it's spread out on both sides before us. We can take their daughters and be our, to be our wives, and we can give our daughters to them. But by this did these men consent to us, to live with us and to become, to become one people, when all our males are circumcised as they are circumcised. Their livestock and their possessions, won't they be ours? Let, only let us consent to them so that they'll live with us. Now everyone who went out of the gate of the city listened to Hamor and to his son Shechem, and every male was circumcised, everyone who went out of the gate of his city. Then on the third day, while they were in pain, two of Jacob's sons, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, each took his sword and came against the city undisturbed and killed every male. Hamor and his son Shechem they killed with the sword, then took Dinah from Shechem's house and left. Jacob's sons came upon the slain and plundered. Jacob's sons came upon the slain and plundered the city because they defiled their sister. They took their flocks, their cattle, and their donkeys, those that were in the city as well as those that were in the field. All their wealth, their ch little children, and their wives were captured and plundered, as well as everything that was in the house. But Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You've brought trouble to me, making me a stench among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. I am but a few men. They'll gather against me and strike me. Then I'll be destroyed, my household and I. But they said, Should he treat our sister like a prostitute? Chapter 35, Rededication at Bethel. Then God said to Jacob, Get up, go up to Bethel, and stay there. Make an altar there to the God who appeared to you when you fled from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household and to everyone who was with him, Get rid of the foreign gods that are among you. Cleanse yourselves and change your clothes. Now let's get up and go to Bethel so that I can make an altar there to God, who answered me in the day of my distress and has been with me in the way that I have gone. 
So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods in their hands and the rings in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the oak tree near Shechem. Then they journeyed, and the terror of God was on the cities that were around them, so they did not pursue Jacob's sons. Then Jacob arrived at Luz in the land of Canaan, that is Bethel, he and all the people who were with him. He built an altar there and called the place El Bethel because God had revealed himself to him there when he fled from the presence of his brother. Then Rebekah's nurse, Deborah, died and was buried below Bethel under the oak, so it was named Oak of Weeping. God appeared to Jacob again after he returned from Padan Aram, and he blessed him. God said to him, Your name was Jacob. No longer will your name be Jacob, for your name will be Israel. So he named him Israel. God also said to him, I am El Shaddai. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and an assembly of nations will come from you. From your loins will come forth kings. The land that I gave to Abraham and to Isaac, I give it to you and to your seed. After you I will give the land. Then God went up from him at the place where he had spoken with him. Jacob set up a memorial stone in the place where he had spoken with him, a stone pillar, and he poured a drink offering on it and poured oil on it. Jacob named the place where God spoke with him Bethel, Rachel's death in childbirth. Then they traveled from Bethel, and while they were still, it, still a distance from entering Ephrath, Rachel began to give birth. But her labor was difficult. While she was struggling to give birth, the midwife said to her, Don't be afraid, for this is also a son for you. Now her soul was departing, for she died. She named him Benoni, but his father named him Benjamin. Then Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is Bethlehem. Jacob set up a memorial stone over her grave. It is the memorial stone over Rachel's grave to this day. Israel returns to Isaac. Then Israel journeyed on, the, on and set up his tent beyond the tower of Eder. While Israel was living in that land, Reuben went and slept with his father's concubine, Bilhah, the Isra and Israel heard about it. Now Jacob had twelve sons. Leah's sons were Jacob's firstborn, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun. Rachel's sons were Joseph and Benjamin. The sons of Bilhah, Rachel's female servant, were Dan and Naphtali. And the sons of Zilpah, Leah's female servant, were Gad and Asher. These are Jacob's sons who were born to him in Padan Aram. Then Jacob came to his father Isaac at Mamre of Kiriat Arba, that is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac had stayed. Now Isaac's days were 180 years. Then Isaac breathed his last breath and was gathered to his peoples, old and full of days, so his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Genesis 36 Esau fathers the Edomites. Now these are the genealogies of Esau, that is, Edom. Esau took his wives from the daughters of Canaan, Abda, daughter of Elon, the, the Hittite, Olibama, daughter of Anna, daughter of Zivion, the Hivite, and Bezmoth, daughter of Ishmael, sister of Nebaioth. Abda bore Eliphaz to Esau, Bezmoth bore Reuel, and Olabama bore Jeush, Jalma, and Korah. These were the sons who were born to him in the land of Canaan. 
Now Esau took his wives, his sons, his daughters, and all the people of his household, as well as his livestock, all his cattle, and all his possessions that he had acquired in the land of Canaan, and went to a land away from his brother Jacob. For their present for their possessions were too numerous for them to dwell together, and the land where they were residing was unable to support them because of their livestock. So Esau lived in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. So these are the genealogies of Esau, the father of Edom, in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons. Eliphaz, son of Esau's wife Abda, and Reuel, son of Esau's wife Bezmoth. The sons of Eliphaz were Timon, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. Now Timnah was a concubine to Esau's son Eliphaz, and she bore Amalek to Eliphaz. These were the sons, these are the sons of Esau's wife Abda. These are Reuel's sons, Nathan, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were the sons of Esau's wife, Bezmoth. These were the sons of Olibama, daughter of Anna, daughter of Esau's wife, Zibion. She bore to Esau Jeush, Jamal, Jalam, and Korah. These are the chiefs from Esau's sons, the sons of Eliphaz. Esau's firstborn were Chief Taman, Chief Omar, Chief Zepho, and Chief Kenaz, Chief Korah, Chief Gatam, Chief Amalek. These are the chiefs from Eliphaz in the land of Enon. These are the sons of Ada. These are the sons of Esau's son, Reuel. Chief Nahath, Chief Zerah, Chief Shammah, Chief Mizah. These are chiefs from Reuel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Esau's wife, Bismoth. These are the sons of Esau's wife, Olibama, Chief Jeush, Chief Jalam, Chief Korah. These are the chiefs from Olibama, daughter of Esau's wife, Anna. These are Esau's sons, and these are their chiefs, that is, Edom. These are the sons of Seir the Horite, the inhabitants of the land, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Anna, Dishan, Ezar, and Dishan. These are the chiefs of the Horites, the sons of Seir in the land of Eden. The sons of Lotan were Hori and Himam, Lotan's sister is Timna. These are Shobal's sons, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. These are Zibian's sons. Aya and Anna, that is the Anna who found the hot springs in the desert while he was pasturing the donkeys of his father, Zibian. These are the children of Anna. Dishon and Olibama, Anna's daughter. These are Dishon's sons, Hemdan, Eshban, Itran, and Cheran. These are Ezar's sons, Bilhan, Zeavan, and Achan. These are Dishon's sons, Uz and Aran. These are the chiefs of the Horites, Chief Lotan, Chief Shobal, Chief Zivion, Chief Anna, Chief Dishon, Chief Ezer, Chief Dizan. These are the chiefs of the Horites according to their chiefly divisions in the land of Seir. Now these are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before the king reigned over the sons of Israel. Belasun of Beor reigned in Edom. The name of his city was Denhaba. When Bela died, Joab, son of Zerah, from Bozrah reigned in his place. When Joab died, Husham from the land of the Timonites reigned in his place. When Husham died, 
Hadad, son of Bedad, who struck down the Midianites in the field of Moab, reigned in his place. The name of his city was Avit. When Hadad died, Samla and Mazrika reigned in his place. When Samla died, Shaul from Rehovot by the river reigned in his place. When Shaul died, Baal Hanan, son of Akbor, <clears throat> reigned in his place. When Baal Hanan, son of Akbor, died, Hadar reigned in his place. The name of the, his city is Pau, and his wife's name is Mehetabel, daughter of Matred, daughter of Mazihab. Now, these are the names of the chiefs from Esau according to their family divisions, according to their places, by their names, Chief Timnah, Chief Ava, Chief Jethith, Chief Olabama, Chief Elah, Chief Pinon, Chief Kenez, Chief Taman, Chief Mib Mibzar, Chief Magdiel, Chief Iram. These are the chiefs of Edom according to their places of residence in the land of their possession. This is Esau, the father of Edom. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day. And hope you come back tomorrow. Remember, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. And subscribe to the channel. And if this has been a blessing to you, or if you think that it will be a blessing to someone else, please share our video. Thanks a lot.